All right, greetings programs and starfighters. So, uh, wanted to do a really quick follow-up on a lightning round question. Uh, my man Court, you know, he asked uh, about BJJ uh, pre and post-workout supplementation and I wanted to really kind of go into a little more detail on that because I, I think there's a bunch of different ways you can approach that. And there's a lot of things I, I do, you know, I, I, you know, in the short answer I said some, you know, electrolytes, but there's, there's a bunch of things that, um, that I do. Now, standard disclaimer, I am not a, I'm not a physician, I'm not a, pharmacologist I'm not, I'm not in any way in, in, in any by any governing body or any legal body or any medical practicing body authorized to you know assess treatment prescribe treatment so that's not what I'm doing here at all um, yeah I'm working my way through my precision nutrition certification but even then you know it's still kind of a, a different realm so I am not telling you what to do I'm just telling you some things that have worked for me and I'm suggesting that if you want to try it on your own, you are doing it on your own and you're more than welcome to and I'm not going to stop you, but uh, I am not responsible for whatever happens um, unless you want to like call me and you know, pay me for a consult and then that's a different story, which uh, yeah, if you're interested in that, DM me and we'll, we'll talk about it. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to stand by the first thing I said and I mean, I'm going to suggest this very strongly. This is something I'd like you guys to all think about is dialing in your hydration support, you know, and your electrolytes. You know, I threw out the ones I like, you know, noon, KSP tabs, Element. In fact, I just, you know, I just signed up for a subscription to Element. Uh, hashtag not sponsored. Uh, hashtag could be sponsored. But, uh, I mean, I like that stuff so much, you know, that I just want to make sure I have it. And especially, you know, you're, you're down in Texas. You know, if you're doing gi jiu-jitsu in, in, in the heat, you're gonna want that. I mean, there's, you know, I've seen all kinds of charts and graphs too that kind of detail like, you know, how different aspects of performance vary with, you know, different metrics of hydration and just how it's affected me, I, I gotta say, like, I can't believe it's taken me so long to like get him to the whole, like, you know, the whole, the whole being salted, I guess. Um, not salty, I mean, I try, I try to avoid that as much as much time as I spend on the internet. But, um, so that's the first thing I would say dial in. Now, the second thing that's kind of, um, I, I guess, separate from any specific, I, I mentioned, I mentioned uh, dietary, you know, kind of dietary plans or what sort of what your diet looks like. Separate to that, uh, nootropics, man. Um, you know, you've heard it all the time, probably from, if you listen to Joe Rogan, he talks about, those guys talk about using Alpha Brain. You know, I've done the Alpha Brain before, before, before training, and I love it. Uh, I've tried some other stuff. Right now, I'm on, a, I'm on, I'm on the Mind Bullet. Uh, you know, Chris Bell's uh, Kratom supplement, um, and that brings me to actually a really interesting point. Well, actually, let me, let me talk about the next one. I'm actually gonna try, um, Perfect Keto has a nootropic that I'm gonna try. And the interesting about the Perfect Keto one is that, uh, I guess it, it's got it, it's got a fat carrier, so I guess it's absorbed better is, is, the, is kind of the, the nutrition science behind that. And again, something that the Bell Brothers really good on. And the point uh, that I alluded to there is, you know, guys, like I said, you know, find, Find people that are doing stuff that you like, you know, and that you're into, and and see what they're up to. And you know, me personally, I, you know, I, I get a ton of value out of out of Mark Bell's po you know podcast, and I get a ton of value out of. I mean, I got I got a ton of value out of out of uh, Chris Bell's movie, you know, Better, Stronger, Faster. So, I, I know these guys are smart. I know they do a lot of research. I know they talk to a lot of really smart people. And if these are things that they're doing. I know it's not just because on a whim they say, hey, I want to do this thing. They've talked to a lot of people and they've seen results and they've seen data and they've done studies and they've done practice. And that's really how you should, how you should approach you know, a lot of this stuff. But especially, you know, especially when it comes to things like supplementation and nutrition, you know, and like I said, you know, the reason I picked Element was, you know, Rob Wolf, who is Via Senior, you know, guys who were doing, I guess, kind of some kind of managed carb diet. And, you know, except Rob Wolf's a purple belt in jiu-jitsu now and like I mentioned in the short video, he did a video on, on or I'm sorry, he, he did a blog post on what, uh, you know, how, how he uses, you know, how much element, you know, how many element packs he takes depending on who he's training with or how he's training. So that for me is a great, is a great lit litmus test, you know. Here's somebody who's doing kind of what I'm doing, who has a thing that works for them in, in a very specific situation. And, you know, here's the thing, I get it, yeah, we're all different-ish, but, uh, one of my favorite things Dr. Galpin says is physiology is precious, but not that much, okay? So, you know, one of the things I, that really annoys me that I hear from people all the time who ask me for nutrition advice and then don't want to listen to what I tell them because they don't like it or doesn't agree with them is, is, well, yeah, but we know that everything works differently for everybody. It's like, well, 
Well, what, what we know is that certain classes of things work differently for different people, but we also know that certain classes of things work the same for a lot of people. So, I don't know, just, just a little aside rant, but um, yeah, so, all right, so it's, let me, sorry, let me, let me circle back, let me circle around just so I know where I am. Um, electrolytes, nootropics, and I said, you know, I said, alpha brain, I'm gonna try the perfect keto stuff, I'll let you guys know what I think about that. Uh, I think Phoenix has one too that I'm gonna try. Um, some of you guys know, I mean, I, I, I decided to do a test run as a Phoenix ambassador, so um, yeah, we'll see how theirs is. I'm actually gonna have an unboxing, do an unboxing of a bunch of supplements that I got from them, so that'll be fun. And uh, not, not now, later. And uh, then yeah, the perfect keto stuff, which I'm actually really excited about. They're they're having Black Friday too, so if you're if you're doing uh, keto, if you're into keto at all, you need some keto supplements. Check them out. I mean, some of their Black Friday doorbusters that they've already put out are smoking. So I'm I'm really excited to, to see what else they they get. Um, the, so so the next supplement I would suggest if you're not uh, on a on a no carb thing, or if you're not you know if, if you're okay with a little bit of carbs, is some kind of an HBCD, so highly branched cyclodextrin. You know, it's just a uh, you know, this is something that I've used uh, in, in weightlifting and I love it. You know, I've used uh, Gasparic Glycofuse, that's one I, I would recommend. Uh, I've used the, the Biotest stuff. So Biotest has a plasma, which is, you know, they, which they say is formulated more for weightlifting because it has more protein. And then they have one called Surge Workout Fuel. And I mean, there's a bunch out there. Those are the three that I've used that I really like. And, you know, I know recently the whole kind of concept of intro workout nutrition has come a little bit under fire, but it's always made me feel good. It's all, I, and, and I don't know, maybe that might be completely placebo. Uh, that, that's one of those things I kind of want to start researching more now that I've heard kind of, you know, these sort of, sort of these, these, these little sort of naysaying ideas start to kind of bubble up. So I'll, I'll get back to you guys on that. But yeah, I, I think that's something you can't go wrong with. So yeah, so let's circle back up. Let's and call it a day. Um, so electrolytes, nootropics, and some some HBCD type thing if you can if you can afford it. And uh, I'd love to hear other people's thoughts. You know, I'd love to hear what you guys you know have tried that works for you, or you know if you have a question about how you might you know work some kind of supplementation in like a specific supplement. You know, let me know. I I like I've tried a lot of things. You know, I mean, I've been I've been seriously lifting since. 2003 and before that you know I did in high school and I started you know I started supplementing and experimenting with supplements probably back about then too so I, I, I got some data so I think that's all I got for you guys for this one so get out of here go train and get better because nobody cares how much you used to lift cheers